Hey friend, John McLennan here, and welcome to episode number seven of the Sgt. Peppers series. And if this is the first lesson in this series you've seen, I'm posting a brand new song lesson for every single song on the Beatles album, Sgt. Peppers. So make sure to check out the playlist. I'll link it up down below and all these videos I'm gonna leave up so you'll be able to follow along and come back and practice any other song when you wanna learn every song on this album or if you just wanna learn one, it's a great album. Now today in this video, we're gonna learn how to play Being for the Benefit of Mr. Kite. And this is kind of a quirky song. There's some interesting chord changes in it and uh, some cool kind of twists and turns where we take a time signature change. So it starts out in 4-4 four, four, and then it goes to 3-4. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step, but before we dive into this lesson, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away for spending some time with me today. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack, and these are some exclusive handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And they're just gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you, and with that said, let's break this song down. Let's learn how to play Being for the Benefit of Mr. Kite on guitar. Now this is an interesting song, and I'm gonna be playing more of what I call a piano style or like a keyboard style of playing, where I just play it finger style. So I'm using my thumb, my index, my middle, and my ring finger to play these chords. And I'll just put a finger on each string, and most of the chords are gonna be four notes. So I'll just cover those four notes that need to be played and I'll play them with my fingers. So we're gonna start off with the intro. We've got a three bar intro and it goes like this. The benefit of Mr. Kite, there will... Right, then we're into the verse there. So we're starting on a B flat chord. This is one, three, three, three. We'll play one, two, three, four. Full measure there, then we'll go to A. That's open, two, two, two. Basically just the same chord, right? Shifted down one fret to the open strings. One, two, three, four. Then D minor, G. And that's one, two, three, four. Two beats each. So it's kind of an interesting idea to have a three bar intro, right? Usually it's gonna be four or eight or something like that. So this is just a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then the vocal comes in. For the benefit of Mr. Kite, there will be a show tonight on trampoline. And we sort of have this like boom, ba, boom, ba kind of fun, fun circusy feel to the uh, chord progression and the rhythm here. So I'm playing C minor. Then I go to a G augmented, and I do that by just barring down that middle finger and then putting the G in the bass. So that's three, five, five, four, and that, that's C minor, and then the G augmented is three, five, four, four. So one, two, three, four, two beats each, then B flat, D minor, then G for two bars, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, for that circusy feel, I'm going bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord. Hendersons will all be there. Da -da 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 -da. Same thing, this time go to A. Back to the verse, okay? So we came off that second progression. We go to A. Then we go D minor to D minor over C. And that's one, two, three, four, then B flat, A. All those are two beats each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then D minor for four counts. One, two, three, four. Then G minor, A, D minor. So for the G minor, it's this chord here, three, five, five, three, three, three. I'm just doing it with my thumb. Then A, D 
minor. Then again, G minor, A. Then here I just go D minor, G, just like the last bar of the intro, right? That goes back to... So let me play the whole verse. Now we have, you'll see in the handout that there's a first ending. So that's what I just covered is that first ending. Then the second time we're gonna go on. So let me play the first part all together with the first ending. Here, here we go. One, two, three, four. For the benefit of Mr. Kite. repeat back okay you'll see the repeat sign verse 2 walk down D minor okay here's our variation we go G minor to A just like before and then all of a sudden we go to a waltz and that's like of course Henry the Horse dances the waltz right If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. So here I'm doing a minor cliche and I'm playing this sort of oom pa pa oom pa pa oom pa pa, right? This kind of funny three feel that's basically just hitting the root note of the chord and then the rest of the chord. So my thumb is playing the bass note. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm moving one note down through the chord. So again, it's a minor cliche chord progression. This is used in millions of songs. D minor, then you go to D minor major seven, then D minor seven, then D minor six. So that's one bar of three each. So one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Then you go to A for four bars. One, two, three, two, three, four. Then again, the descending chord progression. The second time, B. Okay, so this whole second ending sounds like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Again, this time to B. Then we go to sort of this synth solo that almost sounds like a sitar or something. It goes. Okay, so here we go E minor. We're still in that three kind of feel. One, two, three, two, two, three. Then C for a bar, B for a bar. And I'm just using that same bar chord shape. Then back to E minor. C, B. And then you hit this E minor, kind of hold that out. And then we go back to sort of the first feel again, back to four, four. And we go one and a two and three. And then dun, 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 dun. we're back to the verse, okay? So that just goes on a G chord and you go one and a two and three. Four, just ba -ba 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 -ba. then we're back to the verse and we play everything again and we finish with that waltz section congrats on making it through another song from this classic beatles album i hope you're enjoying this series before you go don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below and this is going to give you some exclusive handouts that go along with lessons here on my youtube channel and they're just gonna make learning from my videos so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you. Also, let me know down below your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Just comment it down below. 
Thanks for watching and following along with this series, and we'll see you in another video real soon.